We're out here in Arizona doing some cruising. There goes a nice big Sonoran Desert Toad. Hayden's first Arizona Herp. There we go. No snakes yet, but hey, we've been herping for all of 30 minutes. All right, so we're out here cruising. We we're, uh, you know, nothing was happening for a while, and then we got a DOR blacktail, which is a real heartbreaker because blacktails are such a good rattlesnake to see. Um, and then here we have a huge Mojave rattler. Um, probably a good, what would you say, Hayden? Four feet? Three and a half? Yeah. But really big Mojave rattlesnake. Side of the road, outside of Tucson. And, um,. I was just telling Hayden, like, one of the ways I've been told by some Arizona herpers to tell Mojaves and Diamondbacks apart, one is, like, back here, Diamondbacks almost always have well-defined black rings that go all the way around. Not, as Hayden called this, a cow pattern, like where it's just blotched black and white back there. Two, it's got kind of a greenish um, or dark brown hue, especially up toward the head. Diamondbacks are usually a little lighter. And then three is habitat, where we're in more of like a grassland brush, not straight up desert. But yeah, great, great snake to cruise here. Here is a second Mojave rattlesnake. This one is a juvenile just off the side of the road. Hayden spotted this one. He kind of went off the road and I was looking for it with the flashlight peering into the grass. Hayden noticed it. I missed it. Were Oof. you guys flying out of Vegas? Yeah. So you're going to. Oh, so you flew into Tucson so or no? Yero yeah, spiny Tucson. lizard. What? On Monday, we're going to drive. We have a sunset over southeast Arizona as well. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an Arizona tiger rattlesnake. Cruised out here in southeast Arizona. This is just surreal. I wanted to see this species for a long time. They have some of the most potent venom of any rattlesnake in North America. Even though they're smaller than diamondbacks, mojave, stuff like that more mountain parts of Arizona, southern Arizona. It's what they specialize in. Life or rattlesnake on this. Beautiful. Took us a little bit to cruise them. That's all right. Great, great night just from this one snake. Tiger rattlesnake once again. Coiled up. Juvenile, hard to tell between Diamondback and Mojave in this one. I'd lean Diamondback just because of how clear the black rings are in this one. And it's a little lighter colored, background color than the Mojaves from last night. So I'd go Western Diamondback. Kind of tough call, but this would be our first actual Western Diamondback of the trip. A little juvenile out here as the temperature's coming down into the mid 80s. Nice little find. This is a regal ringneck snake, unique to Arizona and New Mexico. It's very closely related to the uh, ringneck snake subspecies we have back east, like the prairie king uh, ringnecks in Missouri, 
in the northern and southern east of the Mississippi. The ones out here though, look at how vibrant red that tail is. That's the, bro the broad orange ring on the neck, thus the name ringneck snake. It was in this wash, just kind of at the side of it. It's about 9 in the morning and starting to heat up into the mid 80s here. So, cool lifer. Second lifer snake uh, of the trip for me after last night's tiger rattler. So we're here at this picturesque lake, a high elevation outside Tucson, Arizona. It's just a quick lesson in invasive species here. Look at how many American bullfrogs are on the bank. Bullfrogs, of course, are not native once you get west of the Rocky Mountains. There are no uh, bigger amphibians here to eat them. They've outcompeted all the native frogs, and they're just 10 feet of bank. There are like 20 of these things. It's crazy. All right, still same morning where we found the ringneck. Here's a nice little juvenile Madrian alligator lizard I flipped up here in the mountains outside of Tucson. Little juvie. A lot of work to catch this guy. Keep him in hand. Some footage of the uh Amazing vistas up here on Mount Lemon, just north of Tucson. Heartbreaker of a DOR here, dropping back into Tucson. Somebody hit this uh, Gila monster at the side of the main road. Yeah. What's a visit to southeast Arizona without visiting Tombstone? It's the OK Corral. Hopefully we do, we do at least that well road cruising tonight. OK. Yeah. Here we are, southeast Arizona at dusk. We've cruised up. Yep. Uh, a very characteristic snake of southeast Arizona. Big, fat. Northern Blacktail Rattler. Well, what's a night of cruising in southeast Arizona without a nice fat diamond back? Nice clear bands on the tail. This is why in some uh, some rural areas out west, the nickname for western diamondbacks is coon tails. And there you can see why. Here's a long nose snake. Cruised about 10 minutes after that D back. There's a Mojave I just got a picture of, uh, but no, not any video of that guy. Really good night already, and it's just like 30, 45 minutes after sunset. This is a Chiricahua leopard frog at a preserve in southeast Arizona. One of the rarest frogs in the U.S. Very cool way to start this day with this lifer. There are several in this pond. They've uh, been reintroduced. You know, in most places in their range, they've kind of been wiped out by disease, competition with introduced bullfrogs, etc. But a few places, they're making a comeback due to reintroduction efforts, and this is one of them. So this is a little western banded gecko out here in southeast Arizona doing some night herping our last night kind of in the desert before we head up into the northern Arizona mountains tomorrow. If that's our last herp in Tucson, not a lifer, but nice little send-off.
This is a wandering garter snake in northern Arizona, found kind of along a stream. Nice little way to start the morning. Not a lifer, but nice garter that's unique to like the northern Arizona and northern New Mexico mountains. Footage from up here on the edge of the Magoan Rim in northern Arizona. Right, up here near a pond on the Magolan Plateau. This is what, maybe they have chorus frogs in Arizona, I'm just forgetting, but I'm almost certain this is a juvenile Arizona tree frog, which would be a lifer for me. The adults of the species are bright green, and they are known for living in the ponds that are just directly on the Magolan Plateau. Up here it's about 80 degrees, 110, and down the Sonoran Desert today. A cool 80 here. So here is a uh, a wandering garter snake, one of two. The first one I tried to catch and fell in the pond up to my ankles and have mud. Uh, credits to Hayden for holding this one. <laughs> All right, anyway, that is a wandering garter snake. And look what he was eating, folks. This would be my life for Arizona tiger salamander. A big larvae, probably a year old, something like that. Certainly not from... The breeding that just occurred in the last couple weeks as this year's monsoon has come down. Um, I'm going to get this guy some water. So we saved him from the garter snake. But, yeah, these this species of tiger salamander is unique to... Um, I'm trying to find him on the lens here. There we go. Western Colorado, northern Arizona, and uh, Utah, a little bit of northwestern New Mexico. So pretty common when you get in the, the right like montane pond habitat, but very difficult to pin down when you can actually roll them under logs because um, they, they, you know, the adults burrow. You know, the spotting on the side, the more grayish color and more lackluster, like greenish than our barred tigers in Kansas and eastern tigers in Missouri. Here's a little habitat, it's just a little city park in Flagstaff. Good stuff. Arizona tiger salamander larvae. I'm going to get some pictures of them and put them back in the pond to hopefully become an adult probably next year. Well, this is a heartbreaker but still a lifer. Um, this is a desert horned lizard suffering an ironic fate as its prime prey, ants, eat it. Somebody hit this on the road, uh, but technically a lifer, desert horned lizard here in uh, northwestern Arizona. Dusk road cruiser, we're going to try to get some rattlesnakes. Oh, Lord,